welcome to our presentation on sustainability in social brand communities. I am Shukran Afford here to talk about the inception of the concept and how it is related to our everyday lives. Sustainability has become a growing concern all across the world. Nowadays, a higher market share or a greater sales volume isn't enough to determine whether the company will be in business for the long haul. According to Howard Schultz, the chairman and CEO of Starbucks, cutting prices or putting things up on sale isn't sustainable business strategy. The companies are coming up with approaches that can engage the consumers further into building brand loyalty and towards sustainable marketing. Now let's start with experiences. As consumers, often we go through our entire lives without realizing how experiences can affect our buying tendencies. These experiences act as emotional triggers that leave a certain impression and can shape the human psyche accordingly. Here we have classified experiences into four different parts. A product experience is the uh, realization that emotions and senses are heightened when we come into physical or virtual contact with a product or a service that ultimately leads to an attachment of values. A brand needs to have a certain point of view, a look, a feel, a personality. As consumers, we are exposed to brand brands on a daily basis, often in terms of the brand's logo, its colors, its packaging, etc. that adds a certain value to our lifestyle. The shopping experience extends to factors uh, such as um, making it easy for the consumers to shop or providing a comfortable and safe in environment or making it easy to meet new people and enabling wider experiences such as the satisfaction gained in actually buying the product or service. And finally, the consumption experience is the satisfaction or dissatisfaction that occurs when you purchase and uh, use the product or service. This is ba mainly related to the visual or the olfactic nature of the product or service that ultimately sends signals to the brain leading to a formation of an assumption or a fantasy which may or may not be true. Now I'm going to hand over the presentation to my next teammate who's going to talk about brand community experiences. Khan Khan and uh, I'll be talking about uh, the brand community experiences. Brand community experiences is important as it is developed feelings of the customers in a particular brand community which has been evolved through the interaction of the different members of that community. So basically brand community experience allows customers to interact with each other and gather experience. Brand communities can prove uh, to be an important part of important source of information to many customers because it is very easy to interact with each other. Consumers can get different types of experiences from a brand community. Members who are looking for a pragmatic experience are basically looking for more useful conversations which are which is related to product or service or to get information on any problem related to the product. On the other hand, consumers who interact in the brand communities for the intrinsic enjoyment and satisfaction on personal level are involved in hedonic experience. Those interactions which are highly involving and related to the interest of the consumer leads to excitement, creation and fun among the members which becomes a positive hedonic experience. Sociability experience is related to the overall nature of the participants in a particular brand community such as how friendly and open attitude they show in the community which can lead to a positive overall experience for the members and this creates a stronger bond between them. When the members they communicate and use the community environment, they are exposed to usability experience. Higher level of usability shows the members can participate and communicate in, in the community without any problem. That is all with the commu uh, brand community experience. Now I'll call my next group member to uh, talk about the perceived quality. Hi, I'm Yasara. I'll be talking to you about perceived quality. Uh, basically, a quality is the ability a product or a service has to meet or ex uh, exceed the customer's expectations. Perception is mainly the attitude a, a customer has towards a, pro a product or a service. So this perception can be a negative perception or maybe it can be a, a positive perception. Right? So perception differs uh, from customers based on their satisfactory level. If the perceived quality is higher than the expected quality, 
it's going to be a, people will be highly satisfied and if the perceived quality is lower than the expected quality they will be highly dissatisfied so there are uh, certain dimensions where people value quality tangibility where people actually look into appearance maybe taste maybe smell any of the things reliability provide service as promised we expect that from whatever the product we get or whatever the service we require. Responsiveness is willingness to help and assurance is also one of the most important things where we actually uh, feel, we need to feel secured or we, we need to be safe when we purchase a product or maybe a service. Empathy is giving individual attention to each customer and making their in, main interest in your heart. Now, how does brand communities, uh, how does it be influence perceived quality? Let me give you an example. I have been to most of the cosmetic shops and I have seen people just ask for products. That's it. And then they ask, which brand are you looking for? And they say, something which is cheap or something which is in good quality. So why does this happen? Because they are not aware of the brands. So this is where brand communities are important. Brand communities help customers to share knowledge. Uh, give the uh, product features and then they help to create value. They make sure that uh, this product is valuable for the amount you pay, right? And then they build trust and make strong relationships. When it comes to companies' perspectives, they bring more business and it's going to be really highly profit, profitable and then they increase the market share and I think it's going to be uh, very good for the reputation of the company. And also, since there are brand communities, it's going to be a very, uh, there are going to be few production problems uh, based because there are uh, many brand, uh, you know, like interactions with the brand communities. So that's all about it. And now I would like to invite uh, Rafik to continue. Thank you. My name is Irfan and I'm going to tell you about the customer equity drivers. Uh, the net revenue a company will generate by maintaining a good relationship with their clients or customers during all our uh, current or future years that is known as customer equity. There are three drivers which uh, can motivate uh, you know, customers and company to create a good relationship between them. These are the uh, one is uh, value equity, brand equity and retention equity. Now I will explain my mind all of these. Value equity. Uh, basically, it's all about the objective evaluation of the company's product. How the uh, features of the product, what are the prices, and uh, um, uh, does it uh, it is available at any uh, you, uh, place we, uh, which you have uh, feel convenient on that. That is all about the value equity. And the other uh, driver is brand equity, which um, which all about the subjective view of product. Uh, does the brand is famous in all over the world, and uh, does it is uh, has a good reputation in the market? Does it uh, has a you know uh, societal uh, comp uh, complements in the market? That's all about the brand equity. The other driver, uh, last one is the retention equity. That is all about the relationship. How company will uh, you know uh, market ties their uh, their brand and uh, how much uh, you know uh, they will advertise uh, give knowledge uh, to their customers. So uh, for customer equity, uh, uh, companies will make different kind of strategies. For example, they uh, give uh, value added services to their customers. They will. Uh, they will spend more, a lot of money on the marketing mix and promotions. They will uh, uh, give a lot of uh, you know uh, societal work in the market. The, that's it all about the customer equity. Now I would like to invite Rizzi for further presentation. Hi, I'm Rizzi and I'll be talking to you about attitude and purchase intention. So first of all, I would like to say that great brand communities are created when an organization exceeds the customer's expectations which will ultimately lead to consumer loyalty and nowadays consumer loyalty is considered to be one of the most important aspects towards organizational growth because it's not something which cannot be bought and uh, it's not something that can be achieved by cheating your way through the system. And also, 
through great brand communities, a positive word of mouth is created within communities. Uh, uh, communities and uh, this affects the consumer behavioral patterns such as attitude and purchase intentions. And now I'll tell you the difference between online brand communities and social brand communities. An online brand community is something which is made up of people who have no geographical limitations and they have the ability to interact with with other members in their community. And social brand community uh, is quite similar to online brand community as well. And uh, for an example, say that you are in a, in a community where, people, where you get people who are interested in uh, video games. So, so even if you have similar interests, you have the option of choosing different brands. For an example, you can choose either a PlayStation or an Xbox. So you basically have the same interests uh, with other people of your community. And that's pretty much about social brand community and online brand communities. And I'll hand over the presentation to Khan. Uh, move our presentation to the conclusion. Uh, so basically, organization and organizations and companies, they are moving towards a point where they are no longer in, interested in just selling their products to the customers. For once, but they are rather interested and uh, they are rather involving in building up lifetime relationship with the customers in order to attach their customers with the products and their brands. In this way, companies are making customers more loyal to their products through brand communities, customers are more satisfied with the positive experiences that they get through these brand communities and through their interaction in these communities, which basically leads to a stronger customer equity. The use of brand communities is making companies more sustainable in a way that they are creating brand loyalty in the consumers and uh, bringing their consumers together on the same page, on the same platform to share their experiences which with one another to have a better collaborative environment. So basically all these things, all this sustainable marketing uh, that they are uh, doing, the companies that are involved in sustainable marketing, they are basically uh, moving their customers towards a purchase intention. Thank you.